In this video, we are going to learn how you can create a stunning author page or author page template using Elementor. So this is basically designed by Elementor. This is an author page or author template. So you can create a dynamic author template using template or uh, sorry using Elementor Pro within few clicks, drag and drop. So just keep watching this video and subscribe my channel. And if you need any custom work related to Elementor or WordPress by me, you can contact me via given details below. For now, this is our author page and this is author page template and every author is looking like in this template so we are going to redesign this and every author uh, page will be uh, designed very beautifully okay so for creating author page we just need to have plugins that is elementor and elementor pro so keep in mind you should have elementor and elementor pro version okay after that you just need to click on templates and click on add new okay here you just need to click click here and here from that you just need to click on archive in the archive you can say author page template okay i am going to name it author page template okay just click on create template now i can i'm not going to use that one okay any pre-built just cut this off and just select okay now i am going to add a flex box and you can also add a container from this left sidebar okay so we have a container here in that container we can make some designing as our requirements so first of all we need author image so in the author box you can see here i can also search for image okay here is the image and just drag and drop in that you just in click on dynamic and in the dynamic you can say author profile picture you can see author profile picture okay now the my uh, author profile picture will be here okay now uh here okay now you can also um make it you know set the width of this image so i'm going to set it full and as well as make it in center okay just click on publish and click on add new condition in the add condition you just need to click here and here from that you can see author archive and in the author archive you can also select all authors i mean all authors uh, will be displayed here but if you want to uh, specifically assign a uh, author so you can set for example my author name is developer so for the developer author this template will be shown okay so save and close and i am going to refresh this author page so i am going to refresh and here you can see this is profile picture and this is author developer okay now you can see this is working okay now we are going to design everything as well as you can also choose a profile picture from your library for your author i mean if you have image for author you can also choose an image but for now i'm going to choose for example this one image and you can also use the image as uh, according to your requirements okay instead of full width uh, we can set it custom for example width should be 300 okay and now now this is 300 width and as well as i can align it on right sidebar it is on right okay now i'm going to add the more containers here and here and uh, this one this is another container and in that i'm going to make it a row okay so this will be image on the right sidebar and there i am i'm going to write the information for this author okay now i'm going go here and here i click here and side archive title so archive title mean the name of the author okay include context i am not including okay just click on update and refresh that now you can see my name is for example the author name is developer so this is showing here okay now this is how you can uh, display the author name and so on okay now i'm going here and i'm going to do some settings for this container and i'm going to reduce the width of this container okay now i'm going to add some styling here in the background for example i am setting the background for example black okay and here the author title i should be white okay this is white okay now uh, in the description author box so i am going to 
add your text contain box and here is the text editor in the text editor i will just select that and here i will select the author information so here is the author information so about author and uh, the information about author will be here so just click on update and refresh that now you can see this is and the author information is not displaying here let me see what is that okay bio website email okay now i'm going back in the developer and edit profile and yes so this is my biography for example now this is my uh, information bio information so i just click here update profile and refresh that now you can see this is information is displaying here so i am going to edit it and style it into white for example uh, here so this is about information and i can also style image for example if i wanna add border radius uh, it should be 14 and border type should be solid and uh, one pixel and it should be also white okay okay now here uh, if i wanna add social icons so here i am going to add social icons here so now i can just uh, style it for example size of the icons okay okay you can uh, increase or decrease as well as alignment of the icons so i will align it on the left and here uh, spacing so here is the spacing so this one is spacing for the icon so you can also uh, add the you know your own styles here as well as i'm going here and add some paddings top and bottom so top padding should be 50 and bottom padding also should be 50 now this is looking nice okay as well as if you want to reduce the size of the icons or increase the size of the icons you can also do that for example icon size is 28 so i can say 22 or 20 okay and spacing here so this, these are the icons here in the icon link you can also put the link of your uh, facebook twitter youtube so you can also do that for example my youtube uh link is youtube and pick skills so i will just add here the youtube link okay so this these will be links social links for this author i have changed my image this is my original image okay now i am going to add do some adjustment here uh here i am going to add 50 pixels as the border and in the box shadow uh here is the box shadow you can also select that i am going to use my own color here okay here i'm going to add my color and this is the color of my website for example and you can also uh, blur it for example this blur is too much and you can see this is too high you can see this one is 100 and this one is um, 41 okay now if i go here and in the image we can uh, do some more settings in the hover effect uh in the box shadow uh we can do at is 100 okay now if i go here so this is also in hover and uh the effect is added in hover as well as uh, in the current okay now this is looking fine if you want to add uh, email and uh, you know contact info you can also do that for example if i select here list items and in that list here i will select that one and because we need phone number and image so for example this is my phone number for example and here is my email okay now in that i will select the icon for example for phone and this is the phone icon and here is the email icon so i will select involve okay so this icon is for involve i will make some styling uh, for the icon and the text and for example this is icon so in the icon i will select this color as well as the icon size it should be this one okay okay now in the hover you can also select the hover color and so on but now in the text color in the text is the color uh, for example white okay so this is the white color for the text for the you can see this phone number in email is also there okay now this uh, information this is uh, the profile this is the title 
so any custom thing that you want to add you can also do that okay just I'm going to add new container here I will go here and select a container into that and in that I will add the related posters of this author for example so I will select the posters and you do not need to select archive posters you just need to select posters and here you can see all the poster size here and I will just click here and add some margin here so margin top should be 60 okay now this is good and margin bottom should be also 60 okay now in that the post is the poster should be three columns as well as per page six and image should be top as well as uh, you can set the image ratio and so on so i don't want to show the exact this is the exact as well as in the in the uh, skin i will select the cards because i like the card skin okay so again i deselect the excerpt as well as um here title read more and badge is the taxonomy and avatar avatar means this image i don't want to show this image as well as okay now this is looking nice and <coughs> again uh, if you go here in the pagination just click on numbers here uh, you will see the paginations here you can see one two three four okay so you can also do that shorten i mean you can also do the previous page next page and load mode on the click so it depends upon you so this is uh, not a big deal okay now just click on update and i refresh that okay now this is my image this is the title or you can see username of the author and these are the icons and this is the information and these are the posters of this author okay now if i want to design more i can do that just click here and in the query in the query you just need to select the posters and that include by author and in the author you just need to select the author and sorry term author and author should be developer okay okay now the author posters will be display here you just need to update so only this author posters i mean the author poster by this author will be display here okay so keep in mind this week okay now if i click here load more so the next process uh, added by this author will be displayed here okay moreover if i want to uh, uh, do some styling in the query so you can see in the style in, in the cards i want to show the border width border width you can increase or decrease for example here uh, so i will select the border width should be one pixel border radius is uh, 20 pixel okay now horizontal palette as well as the border color background color and so on okay so border color you can select uh, your color as well as uh, the background color you can see this is the background color for example you can see you can also set the background color uh, <coughs> for the posters as well as uh, your cards okay now i'm going to do that one okay sorry this this one has the background color and just click on update and refresh that and now you can see this is looking a bit nice okay now i'm going back and in that we can see the responsiveness now we are going to responsive it so now you can see this is looking on the desktop version and if i click here so this is the tablet view so in the tablet view this is and was emerging so i have fixed that now i click on mobile version and in the mobile version it is looking like that so i just click here and make make that and here i will make it center and we will make it center as well as make it center okay now the image should be also in the center for the mobile okay no okay now this is looking very nice and just click on update so this is uh, responsive for all devices as well as this is um, is uh, very you know impressive so I just click here and refresh that now you can see this author is developer and this author template is this one okay sorry I just need to fix that one 
for mobile as well okay just click on update and refresh that okay now the icons are fixed now this is looking very very impressive and neat and clean so i hope uh, you love this video and if you love this video please subscribe my channel and hit the like button as well as if you need any custom work related to elementor or wordpress you can contact me via given details below